What's up, everybody? It's the boy KD coming through with a One Piece chapter review. It has been a very long time since I've done this. So, hey, everybody, how you guys doing? I'm back <laughs> to the chapter reviews of the manga One Piece. That's right. Man, I really been wanting to get back into this. And, you know, I've been kind of lacking because, like, I, you know, like, once you get out of something, it's kind of difficult to get back into something, especially something that requires work. Then, like, being that I'm not all fancy and dancy and stuff, eh, the editing ain't going to really be that much in this, but it also kind of, like, where does it stand out at? But anyway, I digress. It's been 65 chapters since I've actually done a review, which is about a year and a half, two years ago, all right? So I apologize for not, you know, getting these out more often, but hey, I'm gonna try to do my best to keep this train rolling, okay? But with all of that out of the way, let's get into the chapter review, all right? Chapter 1005, Demon Child, all right? We get our cover page. The cover page is Katakuri, enjoying his donut time as he does with some kittens and some puppies oh hard i like it you know i mean everybody feel katakuri is a good guy anyway this just goes to show that katakuri really is good because i mean he is but anyway let's move on and get into the actual chapter because we actually get the start of a robin fight that's right so it brings us back into third floor great banquet hall all right where black maria is letting sanji know that yo you need to let nico robin know to come save you she needs to be here right now because i got some other pressing matters that i need to deal with because in the last chapter it was alerted that the, the scabbards they were still alive and injured and had someone actually treating them injuries we still don't get to find out who that is in this chapter which i mean everybody's kind of been having their own theories uh some say toki uh some says hiori i even heard Inaru. <laughs> um it's not Inaru, even though I would love Inaru to be back. All right. All right. I, the God of Thunder. The, the, yes, please <laughs> bring him back at some point, but not right now because it wouldn't make any sense. All right. But yes, yeah, so she wants to get to doing that. So she wants Sanji to go ahead and call Nico Robin. And she asks everybody. Well, actually, she asked us Simon, Simon Lady, the person with the eye thing over their face if they ready to actually transmit the message then she proceeds to put on some brass knuckles not just on one hand on both of them and she lights into Sanji she gives him one hell of a beating and I'm talking about they Oda did his thing. Like he he showcased that. Yes, Sanji is Sanji is taking a whoop in here. Like up close and personal shots of the punches that Sanji is receiving. All right, and I'm talking about like she's going like she's Luffy doing Gatling gun. All right, and all of her subordinates they sitting back watching the boy take this whooping. Like oh my god, like. He's sitting there. He's taking his beating because he's a real man, man. He, he is not friend to sacrifice one of his friends, one of his companions, just to save his own skin. I think I'm falling for him. Like, they actually falling for Sanji in this moment. All right? And Sanji goes, wait. Well, he's tied up like like he's Jesus Christ or somebody. Like it's actually the spider web and the cross thing, and he's sitting up there like this. It, it, it's it's funny, but he's like, wait, can I even speak? I haven't even had a chance to say anything. Like you asked me to do something, and immediately went to whooping my ass. Like who does this? Who does this? I tell you, who does this? Crazy anime ladies and crazy cartoon ladies. 
crazy movie and TV show ladies. Crazy ladies in real life. Boy. Women can be crazy. <laughs> but anyway. And they like, oh, he's probably going to say something mean to her. Oh my God, he ain't going to do nothing but make a man. Don't do it. You're going to die. Like, her subordinates are really falling for Sanja because they respect the fact that he's not, he's not just from the rat out. Like, he actually has loyalty. And with Sanji really does. Like, they see that Sanji stands by his principle because he beat all of they, they, their, you know, uh, companions ass that were male. All right? If they had a penis, he whooped they ass. But he did not touch the ladies. But what Sanji actually does is he goes to holler for Robin. He says, Robin John, come save me. I'm on the third floor in the great banquet hall. Please, if you do not come, they will kill me. I will die. Please come. <laughs> and Black Maria's subordinates, they are, they are shocked. They're like, wow. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Like, here's my thing. Okay, so why be shocked at it? Clearly, he don't hit women. All right? Now, yes, Sanji is very chivalrous, but let's be honest. Does Sanji really want to die? Nah. And Sanji is also smart. And they just aren't prevalent to Sanji's wits. Because as I look at it, as I was reading the chapter, all right, I was thinking, why would Sanji do this? Sanji got to be thinking to himself, okay, if I say this, Robin is going to come. Now, what do we know about Robin that Sanji would know that would be used to his advantage outside that she's a woman? Well, she can bloom anywhere. That's one. Two, she's a demon. <laughs> no, not really, but like she, she would be useful because Maria's a giant spider. Robin can probably turn herself into a giant. If I don't believe we actually saw it, either it was on Fishman Island that we saw Robin go giant. Or it didn't happen at all and my and I'm just an old man and my mind sucks. But either way, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, that could be the only thing. Like Sanji actually knows Robin, like Robin could do something because Maria, she said it like she said, we set up traps at the entrance and all over the floor, you know, this, this, this sticky thread that she shoots out, the spider web so that when Robin come running up, she will get caught either way, even if she make it through the entrance some kind of way, it's on the floor, she had to step on the floor that's what, that's where the blooming idea came at, like Maybe she'll send one of her, her, her clones or something of that nature, you know, shadow clone jutsu, you know, to go say Sanji rather than get caught up. But even if she do get to the entrance, it's also a few of Black Maria's subordinates standing in the back with some with some long necks, arc style, <laughs> and some tranquilizer dark. Like no bull. Like you can see that they actually have long necks. Like they standing there. With the long neck rifle, ready to, to, to fill Nico Robin with some trank darts. Like, like they, they finna put her night, 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 night. <laughs> that, that's what's finna go down in here. But, so, it cuts to different scenes throughout the castle, all right? And the first one we see is Chopper. We see Chopper, like, Sanji and Chopper is still working on the medicine or the antidote to uh for the Oni virus. All right, the ice Oni virus. That's what Chopper's still working on. That uh, it cuts to kids' crew in which we see the dead-looking voodoo guy on his crew. Like how pathetic! <laughs> you know, like like he's he's calling Sanji pathetic for because the way Sanji is doing it, like Sanji legit whining and crying. Like you see the tears. Coming out of Sanji's eyes. 
I'm going to beat Zeus because Zeus got something. Zeus, Zeus, give it here. Give it. More attention. Ah. Don't get pets and don't have kids, all right? <laughs> anyway, so then you see, uh, I, I want to say this is Penguin and Beppo. For a minute, I thought it was Sachi, but I think it's Penguin and Beppo uh, from Law's Crew. And, you know, they're like, that's one of the straw hats. All right. Then it also cuts over to um, Yamato and, and Momo. They saying they hear it. They like, oh, well, that, that's Sanji. That's one of the straw hats. That's one of Luffy's uh, crew members. You know, and then it cuts over to Marco as well, in which Marco is act actively in a fight with King and a few of the other uh, gifters if you will um well they might be headliners i don't i don't know i don't know if they're headliners i don't know if they gift us either way uh no they're not. they're not headliners what are are they headliners yeah they headliners yeah yeah the the upper echelon gifters are headliners yeah okay yeah but he, marco is fighting with them uh shooting off his phoenix jewel thingy mabobs Right, and so he he's fighting with them, and Marco says, "Boy, this crew is fun," which is making me starting to think like maybe Marco's actually about to join the Straw Hats, like not to get anybody hyped or anything. But I'm thinking, Marco, Marco, like he loves the Straw Hats already. Like he, like he doesn't have no problem with none of them. Like. He hasn't said anything bad. He's smiling. Like, it could just be the simple fact of, you know, like, he respecting Ace and Pop's wishes and wanting to protect Luffy. And in, in way of protecting Luffy, he protect his crew. But I think Marco might actually, if not fully become a member of the Straw Hats, I think Marco might accompany them from henceforth. I can see that being the case because we are in the end game right now. But anyway... So it cuts back, and you know, like I said, everybody was like, "What? I can't believe he did." It. And you know, Maria is like, "You know, thank you for doing so because she will be ours." And then it cuts back over to Yamato, uh, Momo. I'm trying to think. Uh, Shinobu. There we go. Psh. Brain fart, real quick. Cuts back over to them, and they're talking. They caught one of the mechanical little animals that's around. They caught a mouse, and, you know, it got smoke coming from his head. That, that's how we know. It's, it's actually a mechanical thing that is shared eyesight. And it, uh, the group is called the Marys. They're the, they the surveillance group, okay, amongst Kaido's crew, all right? And Yamato is, is telling everybody about that. But in this process, okay, remember, Hama came through with a whole bunch of with, with a whole squad and been turning gifters okay and so the gifters that tama have turned you know get gained on her side they had and they they get to the storeroom they like you sure this storeroom yeah this is the forbidden storeroom that nobody goes in so they gotta be in this one and so they're trying to break down the door to get to momo because they like uh, um the new the new the lord shogun so they already look at Momo as the Shogun of Wano, so that's great. But they don't realize that. Yamato and uh, Shinobu, they don't realize that. So Yamato gives Momo a happiness punch. Just full on. Hot in my shirt, Momo. Momo, like, what? Wait, oh my. Like, I got to say, okay? I get it. I get it. He is a kid, all right? We know the details, all right? He jumped from the past, 20 years ago, and jumped 20 years into the future. We get it. So he's still a kid, mentally, physically, all of that. He's still a kid. But technically, my man is 28. I'm, 
He is the luckiest boy, man. And I, you know, Momo, I bow to you. All right. You get all of the boobies, all of the nudists, all of it. All right. We men, okay, of the One Piece fandom. All right. And Sanji and Brooke, we envy you. You slide dog, you. And being that they bust into the door, <laughs> the gifters that that's with uh, Tama, she just snatches him up, throw him in there. He's in there now. He's he's in he's in these. He's in them. All right. He's in there, and her and Shinobu they go <laughs> they go to attack. And Yamato is like Shinobu, come on, let's hurry up and get them. We got to knock every last one of them out so won't nobody sees us. And Shinobu's like. <laughs> It does not. That's not how this works. That's not how this works at all. <laughs> because they done already been seen. Because they've been seen by the mouse. All right. These guys see them. All right. So there is, you know, like there's no way to really get away because, like, they're seen. Like, like they still gonna be seen. <laughs> I think that's the way that Shinobu is taking this. You like, they still gonna have been seen as even if we do knock them out. So. Yeah, <laughs> but all right. So we cut back over to the banquet hall, where Maria is, is, you know, talking more shit to Sanji, saying that Nico Robin is, is like, I'm gonna catch her, and lo and behold, Robin shows up. I was talking about Robin comes in saying like. You 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 thought your traps was gonna do something to me? And Maria's like, what? And before you know it, like like because like in the background, like you hear Robin saying, Giganto Masco, whatever she said. <laughs> and like she looks like she's giant or grew. But maybe it was, maybe it just was the hand that she did. I don't know. Because that's the only thing we saw. We saw the arm and the hand come through on Black Maria with the Pow! And it said spank. It didn't. It didn't say pow. It didn't say smack. It didn't say anything. Else. It said spank. She spanked Maria's face. All of this cheek right here, and Maria went flying. And in this process, like I noticed something. Maria actually has a tattoo on her leg. I mean, of course, it's the Beast Pirates logo. Yeah, but on her spider leg, she has a tattoo. Like, like, it, like, if she was in human form, like, it would be her thigh. Where is that? That's just me being a per. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, and and Robin is that, and the next thing you know, we see Brooke. I'm talking about Brooke with the epic pose, the the the. Ah, I've already freed you, and so I'm just like, what? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god and then so Brooke is telling um, Sanji that no 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 well yeah he's telling Sanji and everybody in the room really that I froze because they asking how did you make it here they asking him how did they make it here you know that's when Robin was like but Brooke says oh yeah I froze all of the the sticky stuff that was on the floor so no problems with with the, the, the icy chills of hell <laughs> Brooke is a badass. Badass, that's what I got. But anyway, so yeah, and then <laughs> he turns around. Brooke turns around and he sees Black Maria's subordinates. And he's like, ah, monsters. <laughs> and then he goes like, You cannot talk. <laughs> he hilarious. I swear to God, he like, I wish I could actually show you guys more but you know through copyright and all that stuff there you can't really show all of it but it, it it was a funny scene it really was and so sanji get to striking out all right and he's holding his arm and he's like thank you for coming guys because had you not i would have died and i don't think i would have won this battle <laughs> and brooke and uh i'm about to say nami brooke and robin says that yeah we know <laughs> because Sanji can't bring himself to hit women. And so next thing you know, we cut over to Jack and Jack is saying, 
hey, you know, he he's on the intercom telling Black Maria, like, yo, listen, hey, do not worry about any of that mess to deal with the uh the scabbers, all right? I got them. I'm gonna whoop them because the Topi Ropo, y'all can't fuck with, all right? Even though they hurt, they will still fuck you up, all right? And so he's heading on his way over there and he's having a flashback to the fact that he didn't even get to fight them when they was on the roof. He asked, they actually sat back and he fought, you know, all of, I guess you would say their underlings, you know, um, the, the musketeers and the guardians and stuff of that. And he's like, he fought all of them. He fought all of the rest of the minks and, and he got his ass whooped. All right. He, he got brutally whooped and he didn't even, well, actually, no, no, no. I take that back. I want to say, I want to say maybe Neko Mushi got involved. If ne I think Neko might've gotten involved. It's been a while. Neko might have got involved at the end, at the very end, to lay Jack down. But I, I think ultimately it, it was just mainly the other minks that uh, Jack and his people fought that put a whooping on him. In which Jack is still bandaged up. I could have sworn a uh, zone devil fruit user is supposed to. I mean, yeah, when you think back to Empire Down and the cow zone or bull zone, whatever the hell he was. He was still wrapped in bandages too, but they're supposed to have a quicker healing factor. Like I would have thought, like Jack would have just been kind of I ain't think he would be that devastated. Clearly he is, and like I said, he flashed back into that stuff, thinking that yeah, I want to get my revenge. Um, and then we go back to Maria, and she says, you no, know, no, it's like she's saying, like Jack, you know, normally I would have a problem with you know you stepping in, but in this case, it's fine because i got business that i want to handle myself in which black maria was actually telling uh sanji anyway that uh just going back a bit before uh robin and brooke showed up maria was telling sanji like yo because sanji was like you can untie me now because i called her and black maria was like oh no 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 i'm you i'm not letting you go plus this is no longer business this is personal now because you said you love me as well as I personally want Nico Robin. Wait, why, why do you, why do you want Robin personally? Like that, like it's some deeper stuff there. It's some deeper stuff there that we, that I'm thinking something has something to do with it. So in the panel where, you know, Black Maria is telling Sanji this, she is topless. No kimono, no bra, just topless. And she's standing with her back to uh, Brooke and Robin. And she has a tattoo on the back. Now, she also got some big. So you see the yiddies from the side. Like, you know, like the expression, girl, that thing so big, I can see it from the front. You know, when they're talking about that, the ass. In this case, her tits so big, you can see them from the back, all right? Like, they, they sticking out like this. Like, them are some good years. <laughs> anyway. But now, Brooke, he, he's, he's mesmerized by it. Like, he's standing like this. <laughs> like, with the... <laughs> he's blushing. He's bone. But, but he's blushing. Like he actually got the the the, the uh, blushing marks on the <laughs> cheekbone. But hey, Brooke, I understand because I'll be there. Like, mm. uh, got like a hybrid form. <laughs> <That'd be it. laughs> but anyway, so on her back as she's standing there with this like. It's like uh, one of those staffs, like a, a traveling monk, like, uh, what's his name? Is it Moroku? I want to say it's Moroku from Inuyasha. I think that's his name. But on the end, it has like this flaming demon face kind of thing going on. Look, look like she's look like a round flash water from hell. That's what it looked like, all right? Because, <laughs> but it got the rings at the end, like the monk Buddha staffs that you know they hit and it go ding, 
ding, you know, that shit, all right? But she got this tattoo on her back. Now, I've read two translations. I read the Viz, and I read another one. And one says, uh, angry woman, and the other one says, troubling woman. So, I'm guessing it means, like, before, maybe, like, before... Robin, well, no, I don't know because I don't even know how old Black Maria is. But it, like that tattoo, and being in the fact that it is accentuated upon the way that it is, like it is clearly showcased, and like it is prevalent in that scene that is being shown to us. That tattoo gotta have some kind of like I'm thinking like Black Maria got something against Robin. For some reason, and it, that tattoo is probably gonna have something, something to do with it in a terms. Like maybe it's something that she got, you know, just to, to signify uh, her hatred for Robin. I don't know, but we just have to see when we get there. Uh, but yeah, and you know, Black Maria, she tells them, you know, like you, you know, like I'm from the kill you guys, and. Robin says, hold on, hold on, because I actually got to, I actually got to pull it back up to it so I can get this right for you guys. Okay. Uh, oh, I also, going back, I'm sorry, I keep, I keep forgetting stuff because, I mean, the chapter is just so full of stuff. Um, but yeah, going back, when Sanji's running away, which this scene actually stands out a lot, um, Sanji's says well, not Sanji, uh Nico Robin. Why I keep why I keep wanting to call it Nico Robin. Robin says to Sanji, thank you for calling on me and relying on me for help. I really appreciate it. That's what it was. That's what Sanji was doing. Sanji realized that we are a crew. We are friends. I can rely on you, Robin, to come save me. Now, this may not seem prevalent to a lot of people, but in actuality, what is going on here is, remember, Robin didn't feel like she would truly be appreciated by the crew. Like, and this was way back, you know, the whole Water 7 in the lobby thing. And that still, you know, sits in the back of her mind. Because Robin hasn't really truly been called on to do anything like the others have. Like, people will call on Chopper because, I mean, he's the ship doctor, but they will actually call and rely on Chopper. They will call and rely on Usa. They will call and rely on Nami, Zoro, Sanji, Luffy, even Frankie. Nobody's ever really called on Robin for help. And... I think the fact that Sanji of all people being the one doing it, I think it, it hits her more that way because she knows Sanji of everybody to call and rely on. Sanji didn't call nobody else and he actually called her knowing that it was a trap. He still called her anyway because he believed in her, And so that's what Robin's like. And with Sanji crash because, you know, like, he like, oh, I love you. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, and with Sanji tell Black Maria also, um, like, Black Maria's like, no, you're going to, like, she got some guys tied up. And, like, yeah, they only love me. And they like, yeah, we love Black Maria. Like, they tied up in spite of what Sanji's like, what? No, that is not going to be me. I want to love all of the ladies. <laughs> And Black Maria just goes back to punching him, talking about something. How dare you cheat on me? <laughs> so, fellas, if you want to get with Black Maria, please, please make sure that you can be monogamous and keep that thing in your pants, all right? But, yeah, so going back to end the chapter out, Maria telling Robin that I'm not going to kill you, but that I'm going to capture you and you're going to belong to Master Kaido. Robin's like, no, I'd rather die. And like I said, like, that's when you get Robin giving the smirk, like, yeah, I'm from the fuck you up. They like, I think, like, we're going to get a legitimate fight with Robin. Like, I think Robin's going to put in some work in this fight that's going to come up. And Brooke is, just, Brooke is like, 
<laughs> she's standing there with the yiddies. Like, the yiddies, are, they humongous. Like, she's big. So, of course, the yiddies going to like, the yiddies are out here. Like, you see, like, oh, my God, just. <laughs> like, that's what you want to do. Anyway, so, yeah, that's. That, that's that's the end of the chapter no break next week so we will have another chapter next sunday so thanks for that and i plan on doing a review for that one but guys for everybody that did come to catch me watch me in this one thank you for doing so make sure you hit that follow button well not the follow button no make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell that this is youtube this ain't twitch <laughs> but yeah make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified the next time i do drop a video whether that be riding a solo art playthrough <sighs> the tales playthrough i'm a bit behind on that one i'm real behind like i haven't even recorded any videos for that one but i will get to it not today but i'll get to it eventually enough i'm actually about to record another riding solo video uh because one of the later ones uh i'm gonna edit that one after i edit this and upload this um uh, but yeah, so yeah, and for my next One Piece chapter review video. So until then, guys, remember be you. Go hard, remain happy, keep that smile on your face, cause you never know when you might have to rely on a friend that you never relied on before. Till next time, guys. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>